Hi, congratulations on your new cross bike. You must have reached this video by scanning the QR code on the thank you card given in your new cross bike box. Remember, there's a website given over here. You can log into the website and register yourself to win exciting cross merchandise. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to assemble our cross bike all by yourself. This is important because we've been jolted into an era where home delivery and DIY has become the need of the hour. For the not so social savvy, DIY translates to do it yourself. This is almost a norm abroad, but we Indians have imbibed this culture as per the Indian standard time. Unapologetically and fashionably late. <gasps> Jokes apart, social distancing has forced us all to take most of the course in our hands and well, Wash them thoroughly. So let's take this responsibility head on and learn to DIY. So today I'm going to teach you how to assemble a multi-speed bike. But before we learn to assemble, let's take a look at the different parts of a bicycle now flashing in front of your screen. There's definitely more than the dopayas. So we're going to assemble the handle, the fork, the front wheel, the saddle, the pedals, the fenders, and the reflectors. These are the tools that we will use to assemble the bicycle. A 4mm Allen key, a dual Allen key, a multi-spanner and a screwdriver. Please remove all the packing carefully, especially if you're using a sharp knife or blade. You don't want to damage the bike or cut yourself in any way. And that's the awaited unboxing of the bike. Fret not! Once we are done assembling it, it will look exactly like the beast you'd imagined. This is the box that contains the pedals, the reflectors, the toolkit, and the QR hub pin. Let's begin with unlocking and fixing the front wheel. Remove the protector cap and loosen the nut from both sides to create space for the fork dropout. The front wheel has quick release hub which makes removing of the wheel possible without any hand tool. With the quick release lever in the open position, insert the wheel into the dropouts. Turn the adjusting nut with your right hand. Now that the bike is properly standing, let's move on to attaching the handle. Unscrew the bolts with the 4mm Allen key. Place the handle bar between the stem and face plate and then insert. Notice the stylized shape of the handlebar. It's really nicely done. Tighten the bolts with the 5mm Allen key. Ensure that you rotate clockwise. Now tighten the pinch bolts evenly with the same key. Now push the front reflector's holder onto the back of the reflector. Fit in the reflector onto the handle and tighten the screw with a screwdriver. While doing this, it is important to make sure that the handlebar is facing directly forward, else you will not be able to ride straight. Let's move on to align the stem with the front wheel. Stand over the bike with the frame between your legs and squeeze the front wheel so that it is facing directly ahead. Close one eye and adjust the handlebars so that the centerpiece is aligned exactly with the front wheel. Tighten the top cap bolt with the 5mm Allen key until the handlebar assembly and fork have no free play. Slip in the front mudguard through the fork and the mudguard mounting clip. Push in the screw through the mudguard and its clip and tighten the bolt at the back with your hand. Then tighten the screw with a screwdriver. Let's move on to the saddle. Insert the rear mud guard after the rear reflectant in the seat pillar and finally insert complete saddle into the seat tube of the frame and adjust the seat pillar. Make sure that the seat pillar should be inserted in the seat tube up to the given insertion mark. The height of the saddle can be adjusted with the help of quick release. You can adjust the height of the mud guard as per your convenience. Tighten the mud guard by rotating the plastic adjusters near the seat pillar in a clockwise direction. The saddle should be aligned with the frame 
and set at the correct angle for a comfortable ride. So now we're going to assemble one of the smallest parts of a bike which we don't even consider while discussing the specifications of a bicycle. But without this part, you will not be able to ride your bicycle. Any guesses? Yeah, the pedal. If you've guessed it right, do let us know in the comments below. The pedals are marked either right or left, so make sure you attach the correct one on its respective side. The right side of the bike is the chain wheel side. Insert the pedal in the crank and tighten the thread clockwise with a 15mm multi-spanner tool. Likewise, the left pedals need to be fixed into the left-hand side crank, but note that this one needs to be turned anti-clockwise. And with that one left turn, we're almost done with the assembly of this bike. You can now unwrap the remaining packaging from the bike. You'll have to do this very cautiously so that you don't scratch the bike because that would surely scratch our hearts first and then yours. Now your bike is ready to ride. So go get your beast mode on.